Hello children, I hope you all are doing well. This is your maths teacher Shweta Pachach. Here I am back again with chapter 1, Knowing Our Numbers. But before starting, firstly please like and subscribe my channel so that you get the video notifications on time. And while commenting, please don't forget to mention your class and section. And the PDF of the chapter is available in the home tutorial in the green box above the videos at jmps.org.in. Before starting, I request all of you to make the notes on these topics. If possible, please make one thick fair register. Do your homework regularly as it will be checked and marks are allotted for it. Now, in the previous video, we discussed the topic ascending and descending order. I hope you understood and did the questions related to it. So, today in part 5, I am going to take some questions. After that, we will move on to our next topic, standard form. So, let us start with some problems. So, I have taken... The problems of exercise number 1A, exercise 1A and the question number 9. Question number 9 says that form the largest and the smallest 5 digit numbers using the digits only once and the digits are 0, 1, 3, 2, 9. Firstly, we are going to form a largest 5 digit number. Now, in the previous video, we learned how to arrange the numbers in ascending or descending order. So, same way for getting a largest number, I will arrange these digits in descending order. As you know that descending means arranging in bigger to smaller. What is the biggest number here in all these? The biggest number is 9, right? So, firstly we will write 9. After that, 4 numbers are left. And in these 4 numbers, what is the biggest one? If you will observe, the biggest one is 3. So, after 9, I will take 3. Now, in these 3 numbers, 0, 1 and 2, which is the biggest one? The biggest one is 2. So, I will write 2 here. Now, in 0 and 1, what is, what is the biggest one? The biggest one is 1. So, I will write 1 and in the last, I will take 0. So, largest 5 digit number formed using the given digits is 93,210. Now, they are asking for smallest 5 digit number. Now, we will write down the smallest 5 digit number. Uh, using the digits 0, 1, 3, 2 and 9. Now clearly in all these digits 0 is the smallest one. But I am not going to take 0 at the first place. Because if I will take 0 at the first place my number formed will be of 4 digits. For example if I will write 0, 8 then 0, 8 means nothing but 8 only. That is a 1 digit number. So I will take my first digit as 1 and after that 1 I will take 0. Now my leftover numbers are 3, 2 and 9. Now which is the smallest among 3, 2 and 9? 2 is the smallest one. So I will take 2. After 2 in 9 and 3 which is the smallest one? 3. So I will write 3 and in the last I will write 9. So, my smallest 5 digit number will be nothing but 10,239. I hope it is clear to you. Now, next I am going to take question number 9, B part. And in B part it is written, form the largest and the smallest 4 digit numbers, repeating any 1 digit twice. And I have taken the fifth part. And in my fifth part, my digits are 0, 9 and 3. Right. Now, let us form the largest four digit number. Now, to form the largest four digit number using the digits 0, 9 and 3. 
in largest i will take the bigger number at the first place so the bigger number out of this is 9 so i can take 9 at the first place after that after that it see the question it is written that we can repeat any one digit twice and since i need the greatest number so or the largest number so i can repeat this largest digit again so i am repeating it i am writing it again as 9 now 0 and 3 are left in 0 and 3 what is the greatest one the greatest one is 3 so after 9 i will write 3 and in the last i will take 0 so my largest four digit number using the digit 0 9 and 3 in which one digit is repeated two times is 9930 now they are also asking the smallest four digit number now for smallest four digit number the smallest one in these three digits is 0 but i cannot take 0 at the first place so next number that is 3 i am going to take 3 at the first place after taking 3 at the first place i will i will write 0 now one digit can be repeated twice so i am repeating the zero again okay and in the last i am writing nine so 3009 will be my smallest four digit number i hope this is also clear to you so next question which i am going to take is your question number 13 in question number 13 they are saying find the difference between the place value of the two fives in 25 lakh 6359 so in the given number i will mark their place value 9 is at the ones place 5 is at tens place 3 is at hundreds place 6 is at thousand place 0 is at 10000 place 5 is at lakhs place and 2 is at 10 lakhs place now in the in these numbers 5 is at tens place and lakhs place so the place value of the two fives are 5 lakh and 50 now it is written in the question that find the difference between their place value so that means i have to subtract them 50 lakh minus 50 i have to subtract them i think all of you know how to subtract these numbers 0 minus 0 0 from 0 5 cannot be subtracted so i have carried 1 so it will become 10 and on cutting this zero it will become 9 so 10 minus 5 5 9 will be as it is on cutting this this will become 9 again on cutting this this will become 9 and on cutting this this will become 4 so 9 will be uh, written as it is 9 will be written as it is 9 will be written as it is and 4 will be written as it is so the difference is 4 lakh 99900 and 50 hopefully it is clear to you now i'm going to take one more question of exercise 1a and that question is question number 14 question number 14 says that find the difference between the number 23487 and that on reversing its digits so number given to us is 23487 on reversing on reversing means the digits of this number will be reversed the uh, it will become 78432 ones will come at the 10000 place tens will come at the 1000 place 100 will come at the 100 place 1000 will 1000 place uh, will come at the 
digit at thousand place will come at the tens place and the digit at ten thousand place will come at ones place okay now after reversing the digits we got this number 78432 we have to find the difference between them now their difference for finding their difference the bigger number that is 78432 will come at the first place and 23487 will come at the second place now in this two can uh, from uh, sorry seven cannot be subtracted from two so we will carry on carrying we will carry one on carrying one this two will become 12 and this three will become two now 12 minus 7 will gives us 5 now here is 2 8 cannot be subtracted from 2 so we will carry from here and this will become 12 12 minus 8 will gives us 4 now this is 3 and this is 4 4 cannot be subtracted from 3 so on carrying it will become 13 on carrying 1 it will become 13 so 13 minus 4 will be 9 Uh, we have taken we have taken one from this side, so it will become seven. And seven minus three will gives us four. And seven minus two will gives us five. So finally, our answer will be fifty four thousand nine hundred and forty five. I hope you understood now. let us begin with the next topic standard form of number we have already learnt expanded notation in our previous classes so let us learn to write a number in standard form we will write the standard form of the given numbers in both the systems to do this we need to identify the place of the digits and write them in the place value chart let us begin with the indian system we write the digits in the place value chart as this 2 in the 10 crores column this 3 in the crores column this 1 in the 10 lakhs column this 6 in the lakhs column this 4 in the 10000 column this 8 in the 1000 column this 7 in the hundreds column this 5 in the tens column and this 9 in the ones column now after writing these in a uh, place value chart look we found the number in standard form that is 23 lakh sorry 23 crore it is not lakh 23 crore 16 lakh 48759 okay and in number name or in words we will write it like this 23 crore 16 lakh 48759 we already discussed this in our uh part number 2 international and indian place value system we have also learned how to put the commas there in indian system okay now we are going to write the same number in the international system so same way we write the digits in the international place value chart as 2 in the 100 million column 3 in the 10 million column 1 in the millions column 6 in the 100000 column 4 in the 10000 column 8 in the 1000 column 7 in the hundreds column 5 in the tens column and 9 in the ones column after this we found the number in the standard form like this okay and we put the commas between the two periods we put the commas between the two periods 
and in number names or in words it is written as 231,648,759. So after understanding how to write in standard form or how to solve the some questions of exercise 1a you will be able to solve these questions that is question number 6 question number 9 remaining parts of exercise 1a given on page number 7 and 8 question number 5 of exercise 1b on page number 11 and question number 4 of exercise 1c on page number 15 and with this our, our exercise 1a is over i hope you like the video the pdf of the chapter is available at gmps.org.in and i am attaching the pdf of the homework in the description below for any doubts or queries you can leave the message in comment section thank you